Today's review will be of Smart Ranker AI by Victory Akpos. I'm going to quickly show you what the sales page says, and then I'm going to take you inside the software to see if it does what it promises, and then we're going to talk about whether or not this will actually help you make money online. And then I'm going to show you some free alternatives, okay? I'll then show you all the upsells, give you my pros and cons, and then my recommendation based on the many years that I have been working online. So stay with me, okay, because there are some important things you have to know before purchasing this product. Hi, I'm Suzanne Stoddard of Legitimate Affiliate Training, and I have something I think you're going to really like. If you go below my video and click on the link you see in the description, you'll be taken to this page. And if you leave me your name and email address, I'll not only send you two incredible bonuses, you'll go to this page where you're going to learn what it takes to make money online from my personal mentor. He's honest, ethical, and he's going to give you access to his free training to talk to you about how to make money online and what actually works in today's market. And he's going to give you all of these lessons in his success blueprint. This is phenomenal training, guys, and it's something that you need if you truly want to build an online income. So go ahead, click my link below. What do you have to lose? It's free. Okay, let's take a quick look at the sales page. He says here that this is the world's first, and of course, they always say it's the first of anything, powerful AI-powered SEO tool with algorithmic SEO tech to rank your videos and websites number one on Google and YouTube over and over again, and that you'd get free traffic 24-7. Well, that is a big promise. It's an impossible promise. But of course, he's telling you what you want to hear, right? He wants you to know that with no backlinks, no content writing, no manual SEO, and no paid ads, that you can make money online with this simple tool. So you're going to come across a lot of hype, a lot of lies, because this is what you'd call your typical shiny object sales page. So let's go inside to see what the software actually does. This is your dashboard. And just so you know, this is the JV copy, which means this is the copy that he lets affiliates and reviewers access to be able to test it in their reviews. And this is the demo video here that most reviewers will simply put in their reviews without actually going inside the product themselves. But here we are inside and there's three sections, video ranking, article ranking, and then working with Pinterest. So under video ranking, there is keyword and you would create a new keyword. And as you can see, there's a limit to how many created keyword lists that you can make with this tool. So I wasn't able to show you that, but this is what you would get, okay? It's, this is what other marketers have searched in this tool. And they were looking for affiliate marketing keywords. And it comes up with the amount of competitors, the amount of videos there are online already, and whether or not it's easy or difficult. And this is for YouTube. And what I would highly recommend you use instead of an unknown tool like this is to use a free tool called TubeBuddy. And this is something that you would add to your YouTube channel and it provides you with everything you need. Now back inside there is AI content and the content generator. So if we put in that same keyword and generate, it will generate a video description for your video. And here it is here, okay? We can save that. And it pops up here in the AI contents. Now, there's only one problem with this. Why on earth would you have an AI tool generate a description based on just the keyword? A description should be based on what your video is about. So here, it made the assumption that you're going to be covering these things in your video. So this is all backwards. This is not what you should be doing. If you go to ChatGPT, and anyone can have a free account here, you can say, please write a YouTube video description for this keyword. And here it gave me one. And you can ask it as many times as you want to expand. Okay. But what you should be doing 
is taking the video you've already created, look at the transcript, copy this transcript, come back to ChatGPT and ask it to write a description using this video text. And that's what it did. And look at the beautiful description it gave me. And if you don't want one that detailed, you can simply ask it to give you a summary of everything without point form. And here's my proper description. So this is not the best way to do this. It's going backwards. Next is a thumbnail creator. And this is simply a little photo editor where you would upload an image and you can use these tabs down here to make changes however you want. But again, you want to know a much better free alternative? Create your free account with Canva. And believe me, this is much, much more powerful than anything that that little editor can do. And then next is your launch lists. And all this does is show you the upcoming launches on sites like Warrior Plus and JVZoo. But again, another free alternative, which is much better than that, is to go to munchai.com and it shows you everything coming up. And then we get into article ranking features. So first is research, and this is where you would research profitable keywords. So again, put in your keyword, but as you can see, the limited number was taken today. So there's probably only about, I don't know, maybe five to 10 searches. It doesn't say. But if you found something and it would look like this again, different keywords showing you competitors, videos, and the difficulty. And then you can validate those keywords. And really, this just does the same thing as this here. It just tells you if it's a good keyword for you to use or not. You wouldn't want to use a difficult keyword because you'd never rank. But there is a much easier and free way to do this that is more reliable. If you come to the free keyword tool called WordStream, you can put in your keyword, you can choose an industry if you want, and choose the country that you want it to rank for and look at everything that it gave me. So it tells you what the search volume is. It does give you information if you're doing paid ads, but the important thing is right here. High, medium, okay, it's going low. And this way you can tell which keywords you'd be able to rank for. And then you have AI content. There is the one-click article generator. So let's type in the same keyword and generate. And this takes a few minutes to do, so I'll be right back as soon as it's done. And there we go. This is the article. So we'll save it so I can show it to you. And it's right up here. Now, he is assuming that you would simply copy paste and use this as an article on your website, which is a bad idea. And this is why. It is very short. Google will not rank articles that are four to 500 words long. It wants you to provide value for the person who is clicking on it. And there is going to be loads and loads of other content that will offer more value than this. So this won't rank. It then tells you that you can add images to that article. So then what you would do after this is you would save this entire text. You would go to Image Hunter, enter it here add a few keywords. These are the types of images that you can add into your article. So let's add these first three here and click Save. Now it bounces you back, so let's take a look at it this time. Well, there you go. It's not very nice, is it? This requires a whole lot of editing and expanding. And all they've done with Image Hunter is integrate the software with sites like pixabay.com. And as you can see, here are those images, okay? Next is your multilingual articles. And it already says I've created the limited amount of articles I could create today. And next is Rank Tracker. Again, I've created the limited number for that for this day. So all of the people using this JV tool have used up all the opportunities. But really, all this would tell you is if the article you posted is ranking. 
And I have to say that it's ridiculous to think that anything will rank immediately. It takes consistent posting of high value content, proper SEO optimization that involves more than just keywords, and realistically, you won't rank for months. If you take a look at a new website that I've created here in the last several months, and I have been consistently adding content every week, and I'm talking about content that is thousands of words long, okay? It's got a lot of information on each one. They're properly optimized. I've got images. I've got internal and external links. And I'm not really ranking yet. And that's because it's too new. Even though you look in the back of my dashboard and with the all-in-one SEO plugin that I use, my score is excellent. Sure, it can still use some work, but this site is excellent as far as my SEO score. So will I eventually rank? Of course I will, but it's going to take a long time. And then finally, you have the easy pin traffic. Now for trending topics, you would put in a keyword. I'll put in make money online and search. That's what's showing up under the trending topics. Now, if you want to look up these trending topics on your own without a software like this, you could simply use Google Trends. Or there's many places online that you can find out what's trending. Then they have Pin Finder. Again, we'll use the same keyword, and this is what it brings up. So again, these are all the pins related to that keyword. So you have the option to save it Okay, to the software, you can save as many as you want, but then what? Here are your saves. Okay, here are the three that I saved. But what do you do with these? Here it shows an edit button. Well, my goodness, so you edit the subtitle and, it's, and the descriptions. You can't turn around and copy this and add it to your Pinterest account. Again, that's plagiarized and you're using someone else's work. You can schedule pins through here. In order to do that, you would have to integrate your Pinterest account with this software, which I am not about to do with an unknown software. But it's saying that you can schedule your pins. You can decide when you want to post them, things like that. But again, there are much better tools online like Hootsuite or Trailwind or use a free tool like Buffer. This is a reputable tool that has been around a long time. It's not something that could be taken down at any time and you lose everything, okay? So that's much more reliable than anything in here. And as far as whether or not you're going to make money with this, well, you won't. And look at that, I pressed on dashboard and I've already got an error. So it's not even coming up. Let me start from scratch again. I'll put in the login URL. Well, that didn't work. Let me try the URL they gave me. And there we go. So this is also a very glitchy software. It might decide to kick you out at any time and you'll have a hard time getting back in. Now, let me show you. The front end tool is $30, which is ridiculous for the software. And then there are eight upsells. So please be very careful here, guys. Each one has, of course, their main price and there's always a down sell. I don't know why they just don't offer that right away. And their sales pages are going to sound equally convincing because they're hoping that once you've purchased the front end, now you're willing to put out all this extra money so that they can make money off of you. You won't make any money with this software, but they sure will. And what about the pros and cons? Well, there are certainly no pros. Not only is this a glitchy software, it's just going to be a waste of your time and money. And the cons? The first con is that the front end is very limited. You saw how I wasn't able to perform any more keyword searches and things like that because you're probably only allowed five to 10 searches per day. Another con is how glitchy this software was. You saw how it kicked me out when I simply tried to click back on my dashboard and I had difficulty getting back in. And the third con? 
Well, why would you pay for a software when you can do all these things for free online with much more reputable tools that won't be taken down in six months to a year because it can't be updated? So my recommendation is no, you should not buy this software. Wouldn't you prefer a much more reliable alternative? If you click my link below, you will get access to real training that shows you how to build your own profitable online business step by step and click by click. So thanks so much for watching my video today. If you found it helpful, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell. If you have any questions or comments about this software, just leave them below and I'll get right back to you. So until next time, keep doing your research. Cheers.